what happens is as you become so successful and you uh, I've never been super super successful but just generally you can look after yourself or whatever it is what happens is they start to think oh she can do it oh she her car, her car's broken down she'll fix it or um she's got no petrol she'll she'll pay for it or her rent is due to for some reason they sometimes just take the foot off the pedal when they know that you've got it and whereas that same woman when she is struggling then they show up and it's because there's something in them that likes to feel like the superhero they like to feel like they show up and you need them and they help change your world for you a little bit now fortunately when we are so independent we don't give them that opportunity and then they get a bit lazy with us whereas if you show them that I'm very successful but I still need you for this or that be open to receiving no matter how successful you are whatever it is that you need receiving from sometimes it won't be financial but it might be that you need a phone call every morning or it might not be this but you might need help with your car whatever it is that you need receiving from make that clear and give it to them give them that role to do it because it, i promise you that they they're looking for it even if they seem lazy it's because they've been enabled too long so whatever it is try your best to receive don't think you have to do it all and unfortunately when we feel like we can do it all we'll end up attracting people who take advantage when you are that woman that can cover every bill and can do this and i sometimes see i see successful women do this a lot and they say i want to go on holiday so i just booked it for both of us and i actually had an only fans model not so long ago and i won't mention any names incredibly successful at what she does but the problem with being hyper successful in only fans is the man doesn't actually respect your hustle as much because he thinks oh you just you know take a few pictures and you make a lot of money so she ended up paying all of his rent his education taking him on holidays all of these things and she basically just adopted a child as a result of this and this is a strong independent woman she doesn't need a man she makes maybe 100k a month she doesn't need a man but her desire was still to be loved in some way shape or form and he wasn't showing up in any way shape or form so what i would say is if if there are areas where he can show up even if you can cover it yourself give them that give them that because you deserve it you and deserve is it specifically it. financial or can it be in other ways whatever your need is i recommend a little bit of financial really you i do. recommend a little bit not not entirely dependent but here's the thing with men they love what they invest in so what i mean by that is if they only invested 50 pounds into bitcoin they don't care if tomorrow bitcoin goes up or down they don't care about it if they invested 100 grand they're watching every day what's happening with bitcoin they apply that same philosophy to women when they invest a lot emotionally physically resources financially into a woman they want to see that relationship work out when they haven't done anything they're lazy That's interesting. So me and Tom have built our wealth together. Yeah. And so we have the same bank accounts. I'm sure Oprah would have a heart attack. Yeah. You know, she's always talking about like, you know, having okay. separate bank. But we just came up together oh, wow, very me. tight. Yeah. And um but even now when we go to a restaurant, I give Tom the bill to pay. <laughs> Isn't that funny that we do that? It's yeah. so and I again have zero judgment on other people. Yeah. I actually like it. Yeah. I really like and you take care of it babe yeah. and he likes taking care of it. Yeah, and it's just nice that you know when they check into a hotel they do their own thing. You don't have to think for a little minute. And they like it. They like it as well. Of course you meet the men that are you know that are a bit more stingy and stuff, but I just think if you are a financially successful woman, you deserve a man that appreciates that about you rather than uses you for it or rather than punishes mm. you for being that successful mm. woman. So try and look for a man who looks for opportunities to care for you back. Yeah, because I think that that's a real key is that yeah. some people do if you're independent and I freaking love it, right? Like I I so support women yeah. having their own financial freedom. I think it's super important. It's yeah. Um but they get shorter end of the deal with men. That's that's my point. They it's like it. it's it, it I I would love to live in a world yeah. where a woman can absolutely have both. Yeah. You can crush it at work, you can be your own independent woman financially yeah. and yet still have the man that respects you shows up for you. And you know what's really funny what they found in studies is that men when they're with women that earn more than them they produce more cortisol. So they're actually more anxious and stressed around that woman and cortisol blocks your testosterone. So they're less sexually attracted as well. And so you almost get the worst end of men. They're almost angry around you. They don't invest in you as much. You don't get the best deal. So be selective with that. Don't you don't kind of enable a man just because you're successful. Don't think I want to go on holiday so I'll just pay for all of us because you accept the bad habits. unfortunately it's i want to go on holiday but when i feel like he's invested in me enough emotionally financially not necessarily financially if he can but somewhere he's shown up for me enough then we i can cover it but if you give it to them too early unfortunately they take advantage of you yeah cuz i i don't think i would care like if yeah. i was single right now and still had like my wealth i wouldn't care what the guy was 
um, making that wouldn't yeah. be important to me. It would be, does he still want to take care of me, like show up for me, just like I would show up for him? Yeah, do his 100%, whatever that looks like. Whatever that looks like, whether it's like, you know, if he can only cover a, a quick takeaway, he does it. Whatever he can do is, but it would be difficult if you were to, God forbid, ever be single, it would be difficult. Where would you, how would a man be able to, you know, contribute to your life? I would, well, to be honest, I would still expect him to pay for dinner. Yeah. I don't feel like it's a um, dismissal to me as a woman. No. I don't feel like it's a degrade of me as a woman. And that's, I think, where the important line is. Yeah. So I don't think people should always think like, I don't think people should think like me. I just think, what is that thing that you want? And are you comfortable with it? Who the hell cares what other people yeah. think? So what would you say to women that want the guy to pay, but then they don't want to do the cooking and they don't want to do anything domestic? I think it, um, everything comes from reciprocation. Yeah. So it's like I would speak my needs to my partner and then I would want them to speak their needs yeah. and then would find a happy medium where mm. we're both showing each other that we care enough yeah. to show up for each other. And mm. so to me, if that looks like cooking a meal, yeah. it's like, and he's showing up for me, I yeah. absolutely would. Yeah, um, because there's a complaint a lot of men that come to my, um, to, for me for therapy say, is I'm covering everything, I'm doing everything, but when I come home, there's nothing in the fridge, or when I come home, like, the house is still a bit of a mess, And but I'm doing everything I've been told by the red pill community to do. I've been told you've got to pay for everything and this, that and the other, but she doesn't really do anything in return, so I'm losing attraction. And uh, so I do think sometimes if we're going to to expect payment, then we have to accept that their way of being loved is slightly more domestic. Yeah. Well, what I would do is say, are you listen to the red pill community or mm. you listen to your wife? Yeah. Right? Because that's also mm. the point. It's like, what has your wife said that is important? Or your partner? What have they said that is important yeah. to them? And if it is like, I really want to stay at home with the kids um, and that's important to me, yeah. like, I fucking respect that, that you can, you say that to your partner and they're like, cool, I got you, honey. I'm mm. going to go out to work. Um, but then I would then ask back, what is that thing that you're looking for me? Yeah. Because no rela no relationship I can't imagine would work if it's one way. Yeah. Whatever that one way looks yeah. like, I can't imagine that would 